This video is going to show you four different ways you can link or embed any item from your Google Drive into Canvas. So the key in Canvas is to go to wherever there is a rich content editor. That's this box with all those tools at the top. You can find the rich content editor in a Canvas page, a Canvas assignment, Canvas discussion, Canvas quiz, and a calendar event. So in any of those locations, you can place either through a link or embedding any type of Google item. So when I say Google, I mean Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Drawing, Google Sheets, even a PDF from your Google, okay? Or from your Google Drive, I should say. All right, so with that said, let's start. Um, I'm gonna start first by showing you a link. So I'm just gonna say click here to access the daily agenda. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my Google Drive and I'm gonna pull up this agenda. It happens to be a Google Slides, but it works the same for any Google product. So docs, drawings, etc. The first thing I need to do is make it shareable. So I'm gonna come over here to my share link, say get shareable link, and then I'm going to copy that link. If I want, and then I'll say done. If I want to give the students the slides, in this view, so in an editable type view. Now I only gave them viewable access. They would then have to file and make a copy if they needed to do something with it. But if I want it in this viewable, just like you see it here, that's what I do. But in this case, I don't necessarily want them to have this view. I want them to have a presentation view. So I still need to go to the shareable. I still need to make it so anyone at Westville Washington Schools can view this. I still have to do those steps, but instead of copying this link, I'm gonna come back here and I can do this two ways. I can copy the URL. Let me show you the first way. Then I'm gonna come over here, highlight my words, click the link, paste it in. Now I wanna get rid of everything to the word edit. And then I'm gonna say present. That's gonna give it to the students in a presentation mode, not an editable mode. I'm gonna say insert link, and then let's just put it there. Okay, now to try it, we'll hit save. I'll show you what they're gonna see. Notice it is in presentation mode, not the editable mode. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Go back to Canvas here. Okay, another way, let me get rid of this link. Another way we can do it, so we'll go back to our slides, we can publish it. So we would come up here to File, we would say Publish to Web, and now we have two options with our Publish slides. We can link it or embed it. Let's just do the link. All we do is say Publish, we copy this link, we come back here, and again, we highlight the words we wanna to link to, click our link icon, paste it in, and now it is linked. All right, but another thing we can do in our published mode is we can embed. So we can place this right inside of Canvas. So instead of sending students to click a link to go outside of Canvas, this shows it right inside of Canvas. So all I do is, was on link, I choose embed, and I'm going to highlight the embed code and then copy it. And embed code you know, is kind of scary sounding, but it just means um, HTML, which is a code that the computer will figure for you. You don't have to do anything other than copy and paste it in. But it is an embed code, which means HTML, so you probably always wondered what this was. So this is where you're gonna click it, paste in that code, and then to see it, you go back to the rich content editor, and there are my Google, there's my Google Slides published view. I'm gonna hit save so you can see what a student sees. So there it is. Now, students can use the arrow to click through, or they can you know, click their mouse to click through, but they now have your presentation inside of Canvas. It wasn't a separate link that took them somewhere else. This is perfect if you use, you know, Google Slides for lectures or agendas or anything. It's perfect for absent students, perfect for e-learning. It's just a, a great way to house your information right inside of Canvas. And again, you can do this in any rich content editor. So 
pages, discussions, Canvas calendar event, etc. Okay, so we still have two more ways we can embed something. So let me get rid of that. And that is going to be through the Google Drive icon. Now, if you don't see your Google Drive icon, you might see like this down arrow or V looking icon. If you click it, it holds all your extra um, options, extra apps that aren't viewable up here. And so sometimes the Google Drive is in, in this. But mine is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. The first time you do this, you'll have to choose your school Google and allow access. I've already done that, so my Google Drive is just going to come right up. So now find your Google item you want to place inside of Canvas. And again, it can be slides, sheets, drawings, docs. Since I already did slides, I'm going to go ahead and do a doc this time. All you do is click it. Once you click it, your options are going to be to embed or link. Let's do link first. I'm just going to click link. And notice it makes the link for you. Okay, now I could um, I could highlight text and do that all over again if I wanted to. Maybe you don't want the, maybe your name is really long or something in your document. You just want it to be smoother. So I could do it that way too. So it can either make the link for you or you can type your own text, highlight it, and then do the link. Okay, so that's the link feature. Let's look at the embed feature. So again, Google Drive. Come down here. This is my future. And then I'm going to say embed. And it's going to put it right here. Again, let me hit save so you can see it as a student. There it is. Okay, so all four examples I showed you are all have the option of being viewable or in present mode, or they can be editable. It's all about how you set it up in your Google Drive. So while I've embedded this um, Google Doc right here inside of Canvas, I'm not done yet. Right now, only I can see it because I only have access going to me. So what I'm going to have to do is go to my Google Drive, find that document, open it, I still have to make it shareable. So once it opens, I'm going to have to come up here to my share button. And then I have to decide, is this a document that I want everyone to be able to view? And once I click that get shareable link, it defaults to that. Or do I want them, maybe the entire class, to edit it at once, to collaborate on one document? Then I'm going to need to do the drop down. And I'm going to say everyone can edit. Or maybe I don't want them all collaborating, but I do want them all commenting on something. Maybe this is a, uh, a text of some kind or a lab or something, and you want the students to comment on what they're seeing. So I could say they can comment. So my options are view, comment, and edit. So I still have to set this up inside of my Google Drive so that inside of my Canvas, I have the correct share permissions or the the correct way I want students to interact with this. But it is a live document. Same with the Google Slides I showed you. So if you're in the middle of the class and you realize you needed to add something, change something, delete something, you go to your Google Drive, you find that item, that document, that slides, you make the change, and it's a, it's a live living document. So that change is going to show up on students' end as well. So it's, it's just a, a great feature that Canvas offers, and I hope you check it out.